again at Electronica 2016, Jan Buiting for uh, Elector Business TV. We have landed at another very crowded and extremely noisy stand. This one is from Conrad. And we are in a specific department. Look at it, the Innovation Lab. And I'm talking to Sean Silverhorn. That, Hi, I hope the pronunciation you. is uh, okay, uh, Sean. Yeah. yeah no and you are going. To, you are an innovation uh, specialist within uh, Conrad, and um, maybe a few questions on that specific aspect. But first, um, Conrad is also deeply involved in the Fast Forward Awards yes. hosted by uh, Electron and Electronica. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a bit um, how? What's the angle Conrad is using to look at the proposals from the participants? Um, I think from, from our side, for over the last two to three years, we've been interested in, in startups, specifically in the ways of, of taking technology and putting them into new applications. And that's what's interesting for us, is the new applications and the new approach yep. using, using the, the technology that's available to us today. We like, we like the way that, the, the, of course, the Internet of Things going into, into ways to make people's lives more safe, more convenient. Um, I think technology-wise and specifically the Fast Forward Startup event, for us, our interest is, is, to be honest, to look for the next generation of products for Conrad customers. Yeah, yeah, sure. So there's a lot of potential within the FFA. And I'm sure that your, through your participation and your sponsoring, you know, people are concentrated on, on components. Do you have um, any specific view on that, uh, on Sean, on how people use components and tools? Um, I think if I, if I understand the question properly, our, our interest is, is actually to, to find the, the business potential behind these type of innovations. Uh -huh. it's, it's nice to have a new product, it's nice to have a product that's sitting inside a laboratory or, or something that's created by a makers, yeah. but we want to get it out to the customer base. We want the customer base to learn about it, to start engaging with it, um, to find out ways to make their life more convenient using technology. So that's, I think that's more interesting for us. We always do a support question like what software and perhaps non-hardware support does Conrad offer to these people? Um, software wise and hardware wise, our actual expertise is in the customer focus, in the customer area. So we have a lot of strengths in, in logistics and of course the, the retail business, our online B2B business, um, specifically around working with manufacturers and having access to the technology. For example, ST Micro is, is a good friend of ours and, and we also work together with them. We, I think our pride and joy is, is looking at the, the potential of a product and bringing the product to market as fast as possible. Uh, Sean, um, if I remember correctly, co correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Conrad comes from a history of, of, of tools and is now moving to larger areas, if you can call it that, like, like components, service uh, and, and other stuff. Can you comment on that? Yeah, of course. So our, our traditional customer base is, is, is the, the main professional maker, right? So the guy that wants to do something himself, wants to solve a problem which means that over time we've offered really good tools, test and measurement tools, um, hardware tools, cables, wires, connectors. As we go into those areas, of course, we get closer to electronics. We start we're looking at the passives. We start going into the active areas, using semiconductors, sensors, optoelectronics, and really going into advanced new products that are also available at Conrad for the B2B customer and also for the, the semi-professional customer. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty wide coverage, very, very good. Um, I, I, you told me you have a favorite product, you know, one product that uh, triggers makers, startups. What is it and are you going to show it to me? Yeah, of course. So my favorite is what my team is working on. So I'm part of the Conrad Technology Center and we have a small team of design engineers, um, hardware, software and also product man project managers. And they're actually developing the Conrad 3D printers. So today we have two new 3D printers that are coming to market this year and both of them are friendly for makers, friendly for startups and then at the same time we're offering more professional level 3D printers which I can also show you. I do not believe you for now. Okay. Can you show the printer to me? Sure, let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. Let's go. Some of our Pride and Joy products are of course the Conrad owned brands or private label brands. Toolcraft is very important to us. Um, we have different types of, of, of powered and, and manual tools. Of course, we get into the other ranges uh, lab of, supplies. of craft, into the test and measurement equipment and anything for the lab equipment or lab supplies. Not only the tools, but also the accessories. So ESD mats, connectors, cutters, those type of things. Okay. Soldering. Soldering. Sold and also soldering, my favorite. 
Excuse me, gents. <laughs> and also, also under the oscilloscopes, right? So Volcraft, we have yep. some of the, the some high-end equipment with high high technology and high capabilities, and we also have some low-end equipment, which has has a nice cost point for startups and makers and students. This is all for, for reworking and soldering. Uh, yeah, exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 So soldering stations, uh -huh. yeah. digital solutions, and of course. We have a lot of history in charging. The battery charges, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. also with the Conrad brand products. Okay. <laughs> Conrad Energy. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So let's take a walk. Yeah, let's take other. a walk. Go over. Let's go over to the uh, 3D printer. I want to see that. So I'd like to I'd like to introduce you to. Sorry, gents. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Sorry. <laughs> so we're we're also inter interested in, in new ways of, of developing things. This yep. guy looks like he knows you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's just afraid of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, Go so ahead, Sean. As, as, as things like the, the open source development boards, the community boards are becoming more important, we, we also recognize that, that the community boards, the open source boards, are powered by mm -hmm. industrial technology, yeah. right? So brands like Texas Instruments and Microchip and ST Micro. Um, at the same time, you're looking at here industrial applications using open source boards, uh -huh. which is very interesting for us. Okay, next one, please. As you can see, I'm not joking. This is very crowded. Very, very busy today. Yep. What? Next what stop, Sean? Next stop is here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let Final me tell stop. you, so this, this really quick is, is one of our, our new flagship products. Of, of course, our, our investment over the last two to three years in 3D printing has been more in the high-end products of 3D printing looking at the industrial capabilities and industrial components that go into 3D printing to create a really high quality print. Now we're, we're also focused on the, the lower end print. So this is, this is $299 retail price really? within, within Germany, yes. Um, and is also for the, the starters, the people that want to yeah, learn yeah. about 3D yeah. printing and have an out of the box experience. As we work our way down yep. the line. Another film crew. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, Conrad, we are rolling. Conrad community <laughs> team. Community team. So this is this is actually next. This is also new for this year yep. in, in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, it's the RF 500. That was the RF 100 going mm -hmm. to RF 500. And of course, as you go up in, in the number, the the level of, of complexity and and quality increases. So here is also driven by industrial level components behind it. And as you can see, the the printing quality is is top notch. So we're matching hardware with software and with the 3D printing materials. So we're very focused on the entire ecosystem around. 3D Sean, printing. was that a specific decision to use industrial drive components to build this thing? Yes, actually. Instead of fairly common components everyone can get? Exactly, so we, of course, we were, we're very aware of the 3D printing market. We wanted to build 3D printers that are that are that are good for the lifetime of, of the customer, and right? To be very reliable. Correct. And also at the same time, our, our 3D printers are completely open source which means that you can take this and you can tweak it. You can add accessories, you can change the size, you can, you can add different things like doors and, and check the uh -huh. different materials. So we've, we've kind of prided ourselves on creating a, a 3D printer that's good for the open source community. Okay, as, as we move into the industrial components, then we go into the RF2000. RF2000. <clears throat> This is a top line, Sean. Yeah, so RF2000 yep. has the, du the dual extruder on it. Um, of course, you can print with things like carbon at, at high quality. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's actually created for... Go a for bit closer, Sean. Yep. No problem. Yeah, okay. sorry. Um, it's, it's actually created so, so more industrial-friendly customers, people that are, are looking to build to build uh, cases for their, their, their new devices, mm -hmm. some types of housing, or they, they're trying to look at replacement parts. Mm -hmm. So our goal here is, is not in these these fun types of designs, but our, our goal stuff, here is yeah. to use for serious designs that go into new prototypes. And these prototypes, of course, this is being purchased by German middle-sized companies that don't want to invest into high-end printers, mm -hmm. but this is a good middle-end printer that has high quality and a decent cost. And the price tag, Sean, finally is? Uh, this one's around 2,000 euros. This one is going to be around about 599. Thanks, John, for showing us around. No we've, dis we've discussed your enthusiasm about the Fast Forward Awards and Conrad's involvement. And we've seen even greater enthusiasm, I think, about the products, which we all like very much too, the printers. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very much. And please take a nice yep. shot of our, our Yeah, booth. yeah, yeah, we will. Good. Have a good day. Thank you.